السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله All praise due to God, the creator, the sustainer of the universe and peace and blessing be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad on all the prophets and messenger of God um, It made it easy for me to come to Georgetown uh, today because somebody dropped me here usually I come late all, all the events of Georgetown for the traffic and so forth. I want to thank people who come with me from Adams, helping me to get here. This topic um, is an important topic because um, Islam has been associated these days, especially if you turn on your Fox News um, or CNN sometimes even, you will hear a lot about Islam and connection with violence and, and terrorism and, and so forth. And you hear a lot of experts, you know, quote unquote. It is very interesting for a Georgetown uh, student, I want to tell you that, when some of you specialize in Islamic studies, so we can get a little bit of fair coverage of those experts. Is the only religion that I see in America, most of their experts have nothing to do with the religion itself. But have you heard that you see somebody said expert in Judaism and has nothing to do with it? Most of the people expert in Judaism, either Jewish or have, nothing, have something to do with it. You know, taught it, you know, all Christians, um, expert in Christianity. But expert in Islam, it's always, and most of them, most of them, what I heard, maybe I'm wrong, they are not really uh, understanding Islam well, and they come across very negative about Islam. Therefore, this issue of, of war and Islamic perspective of it, you have heard many quotations. People have quoted the Quran, and they become expert in tafsir, interpretation of Quran as well. They tell you what the Quran meant by those verses. Therefore, you heard, how many of you heard this verse that in the, in the news or some of these experts said, it is in the Quran that killed them whenever you find them. You heard that before? That people have quoted this, and they said this is what Islam teaches, and so forth. I would like to address this issue first in the broader perspective. War is bad, isn't it? That's very simple. My daughter said that, Muna. Very simple state, statement. Because war brings destructions. It means um, taking people's life. And I would like to refer you to Arabic language of the word war. And can I get some of my notes here for me? Thank you. See? Um, the word war in Arabic, who knows Arabic here? What's the word war in Arabic? Harb. And harb means literally to salb, means to eliminate, to take something, to vanish something. And that's why uh, the war, the word harb, is means to take life, to eliminating life. Um, sometimes used figuratively, meant to take, eliminate evil. You see it in the Quran also. Therefore, this word, holy war, you heard of this before. You cannot find it in Arabic language, whether in the Quranic text or in the teaching of Prophet Muhammad text. Who knows Arabic? What is the word holy war will be in Arabic? Harb al muqaddasa I challenge all the experts from the, uh, I go with the alphabetical order, who's that to say in their names? So it's okay. Um, to get us the word holy war from the Quran. Which chapter, which passage say that holy war? The word you, mean, you hear that being translated holy war is the word jihad, which I'm going to really touch on it. Also, uh, the meaning of the word, word jihad. Um, humanity have went through many wars. And if you would like to know how bad war it is, is you need to visit the museum, the new museum on, on the mall, what that museum is. What that? World War II. World War II. That happened among Muslims? 
Muslim did that. This is the war. All the world get into the war. It started in Europe, and then it spread around the world. It was started the civil war. Then the coloni the, the colonists, uh, and and the people who are colonizing different countries to get them to join this war. 